Yeah. So we are at doctor's appointment, Ashley's doctor's appointment. I'm going to make a shot. He's about to get two shots. He's about to get one of them, his blood drawn to see if he's anything going on with his blood, like diabetes. Like and diabetes. Then, and then he's going to get his hepatitis shot, and then we can go. He said he was hungry. Um, I just fed him some grapes and strawberries, so maybe he's not going to get his di his um, blood tested because he's already had like sugar in his blood, a little bit of sugar in his blood. So yeah, that's where we are today <laughs> at the doctor's office. And uh, everything's going good so far. Like a man. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Why are you shy? Say hi to the people. Hi. Say hi. Say I am here for my six year checkup. He's a big boy. He's a big guy. This is where we at today. Huh? The past time with my baby, we play I Spy Something with my wondering eyes. So I spy something. But I don't see no gray speckles. Gray speckles everywhere. Like no. <laughs> he will never get it. They, they're everywhere. Gray speckles. Really good, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Now it's time for you to get your shots, get some blood drawn, blood. and then we can be yeah. I, like blood in my I know, but you have to get your blood drawn to see if you have diabetes or anything going Di on. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> uh, di Di diabetes. Yeah, diabetes with a D, a big D. A big giant me like this? Yeah, a big old giant one. Uh-huh. Your doctor said everything was fine. Like that. This Aren't you happy? You lost some weight, too. Mm -hmm. And she's proud of you. Uh -huh. And I'm proud of you, too. Thank you. <laughs> so, you guys, yes, we are back at the house. Woo! Oh, my gosh. So, we went to Ashley's doctor appointment, and she, um said he was doing really well. Um, they were trying to get some of the um, his blood, get some blood work done, and Ash was like all over the place, and um, it took a little bit longer than expected because they can figure out what's going on and why is he gaining so much weight, and he's not eating a lot. He's six years old. He's, he was, last time he went to the doctor, he was 104 pounds, and today he lost two pounds, so he's 102. So she was really excited about him uh, losing um, all the weight. Uh, well, just a little bit of weight, but she she loved it, um, his doctor. And um, she was also asking me what was Ashley going to be doing this summer um, and like what kind of activities and tell him about, you know, not getting in the pool and stuff. She gave me so much like uplifting, like mama advice okay and my my son's doctor is a single mom too as well so she was like i know how i feel i got three kids and it's hard to find each one of them something to do and um but she said that there was this park um downtown dallas that i need to check out because her and her kids go there um and she also invited us to the um dallas arts museum so I was just like, yeah, we can go together, we can meet up or whatever, um, but she's really, really cool, and uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to just like be getting out in, whether it's my son's doctor or um, it's just a nice person, I'm getting out, I'm trying to meet, mingle and meet new moms and stuff like that, so I'm really excited about that, and um, yeah, so I already have planned what I'm, me and Ashley's going to be doing for the summer. Um, he doesn't know, <laughs> so I just want to keep everything a secret until we get to the spot where we need to get to it. And he's gonna be so excited, so excited. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff this summer. I hope you guys are ready because I'm gonna take you on our adventures this summer for my son. And yeah, I'm really excited. But yeah, he um, when he was getting his um, blood taken, Ashton was like. Oh my gosh, he was like begging, like, don't stick me twice, stick me one time. Um, they couldn't find his um, blood 
Oh, well, they couldn't find any blood in each um, each of the vein that they tried to stick him in. It's like his veins are small, so they had to like kind of prick around, prick around. Um, so he got a shot on each arm, and then they tried to tap it to make sure that they wasn't missing the vein, and the vein just was hiding. Um, so I did inform her that when he was younger, that um, they had to take his finger prick in each finger to get the amount of blood that they were needing. Um, and she was like, well, since, you know, they get older, and I understand that when they get older, they have to um, basically get it in their arm, and they're going to have to tap around to find it. It's not that they're going to hurt your child. They're not hurting your children. Like, they're not going to hurt your child, or she's not going to hurt Ashley. She's just basically trying to feel where she can stick, what, where is the good vein, basically. So she wanted to stick um, double time. Um, and Ashton Bain just wouldn't pop up and so his man was basically hiding <laughs> so yeah um, he was really 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 like really sad like sad so he was crying at one point he couldn't breathe and <clears throat> it was just a whole lot of stuff and um, he had to take his hepatitis shot all kids have to take hepatitis shot so when she went to go poke him he jumped like he jump jump and I told him you cannot jump when you get a um, shot because the needle could break into your arm and you don't want that like you really don't want that so he tried to be strong and he tried to like the second round uh, because the first round of the hepatitis shot she didn't um, inject any of the um, the meds that was supposed to go in his arm um, but the second time I had to we had to trick him and to give him a, a, a sugar-free lollipop and some stickers and um, then he turned around he was still crying um, and then he turned around and he kind of forgot that it was you know it was time to get a little shot so um, I was rubbing his arm she was putting the as I was rubbing his arm um, she was accompanying him she was putting the alcohol in his arm and um, before you knew it the shot was over and he didn't even know it and then he started crying whining after the shot like he was ah! you know he was like going crazy nuts and I was just like it's over with and so now that since they couldn't get his blood his good vein we have to go to uh, the bigger hospital um, where he was born which was uh, Presbyterian Presbyterian Dallas and I go and get his blood work done so um, I could went like today but it was just too much so I wanted him just to I want to give him a whole week before we go get his blood work done and just kind of prep him um, and let him know it's gonna be okay I'm gonna be there I'm not gonna be you know everywhere he go mama's gonna be there okay <laughs> and if I feel like it's not right then they're gonna have to stop you know but she did reassure me that you know um, that they was gonna have well, I wasn't prepared this time because she had told me, like, uh, his doctor, when you're on Medicaid, you have, like, different doctors or whatever. And um, the last doctor that I had, um, she was filling in for the doc his doctor. And I got a chance to be his regular doctor today. So I was really excited about that. But the last doctor, the, the doctor before her that was filling in for her said that he was up to date on his shot. She was sure he's up to date. I beat that girl. We went today and they tell me that he need a hepatitis shot and he need to get a blood drawn so they can figure out, you know, what's going on and why he's gaining weight and stuff like that. But I'm really excited for my son and I'm excited for myself as a mom. Just stand on top of his, um, his weight and then stand on top of his health and then I'm just really proud. So now my mom's like telling me, now that you're doing good with him, now it's time for you to take your butt to the, to the doctor. And I actually honestly went and I went into the doctor. It took me a minute and I went in there. I've been dealing with this, like I've been dealing with this, this, this cyst on my breast and my blood. And I hope that I can get everything just checked out all at once. And I have to be like going all over the place just to see this doctor and that doctor. I just hope that I can stay in this one this one doctor and just stick with it. Um, I'm just really excited for what's happening. I'm all for God and God only and nobody can break that bond between me and my God. 
and I serve the most high and I love him to the end of my day okay so, um, and I just keep him first and I keep him um, in my heart and I know if I'm doing something wrong he's gonna hey, say uh, you need to go back and you know reevaluate what you're doing uh, if I'm doing something right, he's going to definitely pat me on my shoulder. He's going to give me a hug. He's going to pull me in really close. And I, like, I'm so happy that I've become a more productive productive mom. And I've become more of, you know, I'm unboxed. And I love you guys for just sticking with me and being by my side. And just holding me up and keeping me going, keeping me motivated. Um, if I don't tell you guys enough. I feel like I tell you guys enough, but if you feel I don't tell you enough that I love you every day, if somebody don't tell you that they don't, they don't love you, if nobody have told you today that they love you, I love you, okay? And I love you in a best friend way, a sisterly way. I love you in an auntie, big auntie way. You know, I love you, okay? And we're going to get through this together. We're going to stick together. And, oh, yeah, I just, you know, I want to show you guys that, Andrea and Michelle, life, because this is all my life. I'm, I'm always honest, gonna keep it honest with y'all, gonna keep it real with y'all. Dip it in the dirt. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I'm really just excited about, you know, my journey and summer journey uh, and just getting out and mingling with people and just with my son, he's six now, I just been cooped up. All I do is work, go to the grocery store, come home, work, go shopping, come home. Work, come home, work, come home. Yeah, the same routine. It's time for your girl to get out and mingle, okay? I'm not saying that I'm trying to get a boot thing. I'm not trying to get a bay. But, you know, if God see fit and he blesses me with a bay. But I ain't never going to change, okay? I'm going to be the same Andrea and Michelle that I am right now, okay? Um, but anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. And I love you guys so much. And always remember just to just yeah, just brush your shoulder off and lean back. Lean back. Okay, I gotta go because I done too much. Bye!